So you've seen the seven steps of how to install the SNDR damper. But just to recap, go over them again. Step one is to apply some mastic to the rear of the front flange. Once that is done, the next step is to take the damper to the wall and insert it into the wall. We normally find it's better to insert from the base first and then push in the top. Once the damper is in the wall and pushed firmly back, you then fix around four sides using the fixings provided. There are two types included. There are the raw bolts for the masonry or solid walls. There are self-drilling tapping screws for metal stud walls. Both are covered in the test certificate. Once the damper is firmly installed, the cables at the bottom should be unraveled and then pushed carefully through the brass bush in the bottom of the damper. Also included in the fixing kit is a Belimo lip interface drive, which you will need to connect between the damper and the control panel. There are two cables from the Belimo drive. The three core cable is the power for the drive. The six core cable is for the end switches to determine whether the damper is fully closed or fully opened. Once that has been completed and the cables have been pulled through to the junction box beneath the damper, the grill needs to be installed. This can be carried over and placed in the front of the damper. Once again, normally best at the bottom first and then pushed firmly home. Once installed, the door should be opened and then the fixing supplied around all four sides. These are little self-tapping screws. On the hinge side, you will need to apply the drive bit through the spaces in the grill. And then finally, once the grill is installed, you close the grill and then using the color-coded screws, fix the grill firmly closed. That completes the steps of the SNDR damper install.